Hey, what's up guys? It's Tex. Um, I want to talk to you about how to set up hot keys and hot buttons in Lightspeed Trading. If you're considering them in the future or you want to try out a demo of their platform, just contact them online. I think they give you like a week to try out uh, a demo of their platform. It's a bit of a learning curve compared to Dash Trader. If you're familiar with Dash Trader, whether that be with Sure Trader or Speed Trader or whatever, any of the other brokers that use it. Um, but I really like it once you get used to it. So let me just kind of talk you through how to set that up and hopefully this video will help you out. If you have any questions after the video, please do answer below and I'll try to answer those for you. Uh, before I show you how to set it up in the platform, let me show you how I have my hotkey set up and why I like it. The basic concept is that I use the shift key for selling and the control key for buying and a combination of other keys for what I want to achieve. So for example, let's say that I'm long in a stock and I want to uh, sell my entire position immediately and get an instant fill. I would obviously want to sell on the bid. So I could press shift and Z and that would close my entire position. So I would be selling it on the bid and taking liquidity. If I wanted to actually sell my entire position on the ask and add liquidity to the market, I would press shift and X. So I actually have it set up so that anytime I'm taking liquidity, I use the Lightspeed route, which offers a lower ECN fee. And if I'm adding liquidity, I use the ARCA route, which does offer a rebate um, under most, most circumstances. If I was short, um, obviously I would just use the control key and de depending on what I wanted to achieve, if I wanted to add liquidity um, by covering my entire position, I would press control Z, obviously sitting on the bid waiting to get a fill. Um, and if I wanted to cover my entire short position immediately, I would press control X. So uh, the reason I like this concept is because if you look at level two, you have the bid on the left and the ask on the right. So it just made sense to me that I should have the bid on the left, the ask on the right. So that's how I basically close my entire position. Um, if I wanted to close 25% of my position on the bid, I would use the C key, and if I wanted to close 25% on the uh, ask, I would use the V key. If I wanted to close 50% on the bid, I would use the B key, and 50% on the ask, I would use the N key. So this is just a you know personal preference, but this is what I like because I can do it one-handed. I can use my pinky to either press down on the shift or control key and reach all the way over to the N key if I need to. Um, so I can just one-handed close you know uh, my entire position or partial position okay so talking about how I actually take positions using hotkeys I have it set up so that my function keys are for adding liquidity so if I wanted to for example buy 400 shares of some stock I would press control and F4 and that would actually put my order on the bid and I'd have to wait to get filled it would use the ARCA route so I would take advantage of an ECN rebate you could set these up however you want, but it just kind of made sense to me that F1 through F5 should be 100 through 500 shares. I don't have anything assigned for F6 through F9. The reason I have these last three function keys set up for such small orders is because I do trade stocks like Amazon, Netflix, and Tesla, which tend to have very uh, wide spreads and a lot of range. So it's good to take much smaller position sizes, at least for me and where I'm at in my trading career. So typically, like if I take a position in Amazon, I'm, I'm starting with 10 shares. Uh, in Tesla, I usually start with 25 shares. So, you know, if I wanted to get long Amazon and I wanted to sit on the bid and wait to get filled, I would simply press Control F10 and uh, an order would be submitted to the market using the ARCA route uh, to buy 10 shares of Amazon. Now, if I wanted to get into a trade immediately by taking liquidity, I use the number keys instead of the function keys, but the concept is the same. If I wanted to buy 500 shares of Apple right now, I would press control five and I would immediately buy 500 shares from the ask. Whatever the ask price is at that time, that is what I would be buying. Uh, same goes for getting short. If I wanted to get short 500 shares of Apple, I would press shift five and I would immediately, um, I would immediately get short whatever the bid price is at that particular time because I would be taking liquidity. So I just kind of, you know, kind of felt like that was easy to uh, separate between the two. This is a totally personal preference. You don't have to do yours this way. 
I just wanted to explain the way I have mine set up so you understand what you're seeing in the platform. So let's actually jump into Lightspeed. You're going to go to Utilities, Configuration Settings. And from here is where you can actually create your custom orders, which you're going to have to do if you want to basically sell your entire position, half position, or buy 50 shares, whatever the case may be. So let me just, um, obviously I already have several custom orders already created here. Let's go ahead and go through the process of creating a buy and sell order, something like that. So the first thing you're going to do is come over here and give it a title. So let's do like buy five. Let's do like buy five at ask. All right. So I have that basically I read that as I'm going to buy five shares at the ask, which means I'm going to be taking liquidity. I want to get in the trade right now. OK, so I would create commands. Make sure you have buy selected. For the route, I'm going to put LSPT because we're going to take liquidity. I want to use the better ECN fee. Make sure you have limit selected here. It should be by default. Display, it's up to you, but I mean, you're buying five shares. Who, who cares? You don't need your order hidden. Um, through gives you the option to accept a little bit of slippage. So if I put like 0 0.05, um, that means that I'm willing to accept uh, a fill up to five cents um, over whatever the ask is at that time. Now, since I'm taking liquidity, you know, the idea is I want to buy five shares on the ask. Obviously, I want to make sure that I select ask right there. Um, for closeout, I generally just choose that and leave that at full position. Since we're buying, I don't think that really matters. However, this does matter here. You want to make sure you select quantity. And obviously, we're going to put five right there because that's how many uh, we're setting this order up to buy here. Uh, and then finally, make sure pop-up confirm is set to no. Otherwise, when you press this hotkey, it's going to... Uh, pop up a confirmation box and obviously that defeats the whole purpose of using a hotkey. So once you've done that you can press map key now okay and I'm just gonna choose a key that I don't have anything assigned to right now so like my six key uh, on top of the keyboard has nothing assigned to it so I'm gonna press that and you can see that that has brought up all of my uh, options here for assigning um, a command to the six key. So what you're looking at here is you have uh, a combination of using the shift and six key, control and the six key, or alt and the six key, obviously signified with an S, a C, or an A. Now, I don't use the alt key for anything. I use, again, as I discussed, shift for selling, control, uh, yeah, control for buying. And since we are creating a buy command here, obviously I would choose the control six option, and then I would press the map button just like that. So I have now mapped this new command to control six. Um, if I wanted to actually uh, go ahead and uh, since that was taking liquidity, let's uh, do the same thing for um, adding liquidity. So we can go back to custom orders and let's change this to bid. So I want to have the option to buy five at the bid, not just the ask. We'll create command buy. We're going to set the market to ARCA. That is set to limit, visible. I never adjust the through, I just leave it on zero. Uh, we are buying at the bid, so we'll leave that set to bid. Close out, that's set to full position. Quantity set to five. And uh, pop up confirm is set to no. So we're going to map key now. And since I'm going to add liquidity, I'm going to use F6 this time. So I'll press F6. And there's the control F6 key right there. Map that. And there we go. So now I have the option to either buy five shares by taking liquidity, you know, buying the ask by pressing control six, or I can add liquidity, sit on the bid to buy five shares by pressing control F6. Okay. Now let's say that I want to actually create a command to sell half of my position. So I'm going to go to custom orders. Let's give it a title, sell half position at ask or you could do bid I generally scale out by adding liquidity so if I'm long I generally scale out half my position by getting on the ask and waiting for a fill so I'm going to show you how to do that so you give it a title obviously create your commands we want to choose sell now since I am going to add liquidity I'm going to choose the ARCA market we have the limit set Visible, I just leave through on zero. Um, we're going to change this to ask. 
Now this is important this time. We want to make sure we choose close out. And since we're selling half of our position, make sure you choose half position. And this one doesn't matter. You can just leave it set to tiers. I don't use tiers. So you can just leave that alone. Pop-up confirm is set to no. And then you can actually go and choose to map your key the same way that I showed you before. So um, go to map key and I have mine again to sell half my position at the ask is in so if I press in you can see there it is shift in sell half position at ask um, obviously I created a whole new command for demonstration purposes so I'm not going to map that now but um, you know basically you know that's how, how you would uh, create custom commands when it comes to buying or selling a specific amount of shares useful for taking a position uh, and that is how you create a sell order to sell half your position at the ask. Uh, again, you would have the option to create another one as I have to sell half your position at the bid. Um, and then for covering, you know, buy half your position at the ask, buy half your position at the bid. So you can go through and create all of these custom, uh, these custom commands as I have. And that way you can, um, you know, have the option of closing out your position or taking a position uh, depending on what you're you're wanting to achieve so i'm going to hit the cancel button let's assume you've gone through you've created all your commands to you know buy sell and all that good stuff uh, but let's say you don't want to use hotkeys you just want to use hot buttons that's fine i don't do that but let me show you how to do that very quickly you can go to the uh, new menu here and uh, hit hot buttons create a new hot button window by default, you might have some buttons already in here. Um, I've deleted all of mine, but you can you can either add hot buttons or edit what is in this window here. If you see something here, by clicking this gear icon, and so here you'll have if you have any hot buttons in this window, they're going to show up over here on this side. Again, I've deleted all of mine. On this side, you're going to have all of your custom commands that you've created. You can choose from other. Um, predefined commands here like you can choose cancel order keys so we could create a button to cancel all orders or maybe we just want to cancel all for a particular stock um, let's just choose to cancel all orders we'll we'll add that now you might want to change the color of it you know maybe choose like orange um, and a white font for example uh, totally up to you but if we go to custom commands, let's say that I want to have a button to buy 10 at the bid, buy 10 at the ask, and then I want to um, sell, uh, I want to sell a quarter at the bid, and I want to sell half at the bid. Um, I mean, literally, you can put as many buttons in, in here as you want. I'm not going to go through all of those, but just for demonstration purposes, you know, we'll set these up. So maybe have blue for buying like that and then we'll have um, red button colors for selling okay and then we press OK and there you go here's our hot buttons so if I were to just simply click on one of these hot buttons it would achieve the same thing as actually using a hot key as I do on my keyboard um, one thing that I would recommend you do and it should be set by default if you right click on this top menu uh, this top bar up here rather and uh, use this drop down menu make sure that link is set to focus again it should be by default but I, I do have the ability to link this hot button window to a particular level too um, but if you do that you would have to have a hot button window for each of the level twos that you have open so just by choosing link by focus by default that means that whichever level two is selected and you can see which one is selected with the yellow border around it and see how the colors kind of seem a little brighter on the active one whichever level two I have selected is the one that this hot button will apply to so if I actually um, here's Netflix I have Netflix selected if I actually click buy at the bid you can see that it has sent an order to the market to buy 10 shares at the bid let me very quickly cancel that because I'm not interested in buying Netflix here in after hours. Um, anyways, yeah, I mean, that's how you set up uh, Lightspeed, you know, hot keys and hot buttons and how I have mine set up. I hope you did find it useful. Again, if you have any questions, you know, post it below. I'll be happy to try and answer those questions for you. And as usual, guys, if you're trading, please do trade safe. Take care and thank you as always for watching.